Hey everybody, I'm Colleen and my lips are very dark purple. Lately I've been super into dark lipstick and I've also been into trying really weird things that I find in stores. For example, a lemon clock. Now I have passed this a few times at Target and every time I'm like, that does not work. But I didn't want to spend money to find out if it didn't work. But this last time I went to Target, it was on clearance for $2.98. $2.98. So not only is it an amazing science project that was only $3, but it's also the cheapest clock in the world. I've never even heard of a clock for $3. So if it works, I got a clock and I'm just now realizing it will only last a small amount of time because a lemon can go bad. I don't know. Let's do some science. I got pretty good grades throughout high school, but one class I never got good grades in was science. I was horrible at science. I was interested in it and I loved it. I thought it was fascinating, but I didn't understand it. I really thought science was super interesting, but I just wasn't good at the tests. Now, I uh, don't have any big lemons. I do have this lemon, which is very rotten. And I also have some pretty big limes, so I'm hoping the limes will work. I don't know. Instructions. You need two pieces of fruit, like lemons, limes, and oranges. You may even try potatoes. Place your fruit in the stands, one behind the other. Okay, so here we have a rotten lemon and the normal lime. Yippee. Okay, hint. Give them a squeeze or roll them on the table for a few seconds to loosen the juices inside of them. So kinky. Okay, so we have the little sticker on here and I'm gonna just stick this straight onto my little lime. All right, there we go. Insert the copper electrode red wire into the piece of fruit closest to you. I feel like I'm gonna get electrocuted. Enter the red wire Insert the zinc electrode into the piece of fruit farthest from you. Okay, so now I have to put this one into the sourpuss lemon. These lemons are not easy to penetrate. Ugh. Okay, did it. So now we're taking the yellow wire, insert the zinc electrode. I'm kind of nervous. So now I have this wire and that's all in there. It looks like crap, but it is all where it's supposed to be. Your eco clock should not be working. What? Apparently this is supposed to have just turned on and it didn't. So I'm gonna try to tighten these wires. They're a little bit loose. So I'm gonna try to tighten them on so the, the wire on the wire is touching the copper thing. This is garbage. It's not working at all. So I'm gonna try to push these in a little harder. This is really, ah! okay, it's falling apart. I'm having issues. Oh my God, but the clock's turned on. The clock turned on. Oh my God, wait, it turned on for a second. Where did it go? Oh, it's blinking. Oh my God. I am, ah! oh my God, it keeps falling, but it totally turns on for like half a second. Okay, oh my God, if I don't touch it and I leave the clock on the on my desk, it turns on. I'll try to stick it on the line. Ah! It's totally working. It's not the right time, but it's totally working. Oh my God, I am so impressed with myself right now. It is magic that this thing is working right now. I am blown away that I actually got the clock to work. This is incredible. So, thank you for watching. I am now a scientist, and because of that, you should reward me by subscribing. I love you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see me do next time I make a video. You are beautiful, I hope you have a happy day. Goodbye. Mwah!